So today I want to chime in a little bit on the whole Canon thing. Um, and I've been watching this for a while and you know, one of the last videos I watched is what pushed me to give my two cents on this whole subject, uh, take it or leave it. But, you know, the, the gentleman that I watched said, you know, he changed his whole camera system because of what Canon did with lenses, um, you know, not allowing third party um, manufacturers to do their lenses. Now, me, I have Leica, I have the M11, I have the CL, I use Sigma lenses, I, I use Voigtlander lenses, um, and I'm happy to do so. Um, and, and I love the option of that. Um, and I also use the branded lenses like Leica. And, and when I had the Canon R5, I, I chose nothing but RF lenses um, because I liked what they did. I liked how they were with the camera um, and the performance. My issue is, is simply this. As a photographer, um, you, you know, straight out, I, I, and I, I see this all the time and I see the arguments and the, the um, passion that photographers have with people um, stealing their images and printing them. Now, you know, they say, hey, we own the copyrights in these. You cannot take them to somewhere else and have them printed. You can't take them to another photographer and, and have them do the work on them. Um, you know, because that's theft. Um, and, and most photographers are passionate about this uh, because they want from start to finish their work controlled by them because they want the best quality put out. They don't want, you know, if you send photos to somebody and, and they put a, a filter on it, most photographers go nuts. <laughs> um, or they, you know, artistically change them in any way, photographers go nuts. Um, they want control. And Canon's doing the same thing, but photographers are now bitching that <clears throat> Canon wants control. <laughs> they want control from start to finish. Now, on the same side of that, you, you, you buy the body, okay? And Canon wants to be able to sell the lenses because they put a lot of research and development to these bodies, a lot of money. Um, and camera companies are struggling because of iPhones and, and Androids. You know, people don't need professional cameras uh, for their everyday life um, or point and shoot cameras. And that's where their money came from. That was their money stream. Um, and, and now it, it doesn't exist. I mean, it's there, but not nearly what it used to be. So they have to control their money flow. And it's the same thing with you as a photographer. Well, you know, if you just charge X amount for the shoot and you get nothing off the back end, you can't sell prints because they just go make their own prints. Um, or you can't do editing because they send them to somebody else to do editing, you'd, you'd lose your mind. But now you're saying, hey, I'm not gonna use them. How dare they? want to control their products. There is no difference. You know, you can give me any argument you want. If you don't like what they're doing, you go with a different camera that allows you to use Sigma or Tamron or whatever you want to use. But Canon wants control from start to finish, just like you do with your images. So, yeah, if you want to use Sigma or Tamron, just go with another company. Go quietly and don't try to beat up on a company that's doing the same thing you do every day with your images. There is no difference. They have a right to make money. They have a right to control that aspect of it. And if Sigma or Tamron want to come back in rather than reverse engineering and say, hey, give us a percentage and we'll give you this and you can make lenses for this, that's fine. But you can't reverse engineer and backdoor a company when they want to control their product. That's all I have to say. <laughs>